Hello children, it's time for another story. But before I read um, this story that I've chosen for my bookshelf today, I would like to just say a special shout out to Birch Class. Hello Birch Class, how are you? Hello Birch Class. And a special shout out to Amelia Rose. How are you Amelia Rose? I know you're keeping up with your home learning, so well done, really proud of you. Keep up the good work. Right children, so now it's time for us to read our story. Are you ready? Are you sure? Let's begin. Now this story is by Anthony Brown, fabulous children's author, and the book is called Piggy, Piggy Book. Piggy Book? Interesting title. I wonder what it's all about. Now if you can see here, Mum seems to be carrying everyone. Hmm, I think there's a special message in this book. Let's find out. Mr. Piggott lived with his two sons, Simon and Patrick, in a nice house with a nice garden and a nice car in the nice garage inside the house was his wife. Yeah, so you can see Mr. Piggott and his son. Hurry up with the breakfast, dear, he called every morning before he went off to his very important job. Hurry up with the breakfast, Mum, Simon and Patrick called before they went off to their very important school. There we are, see them there, calling on Mum. And what are they shouting? Hurry up with the breakfast. What do you think of that, children? After they left the house, Mrs Piggott washed all the breakfast things. There's Mrs Piggott washing the breakfast things. She made all the beds. She vacuumed all the carpets and then she went to work. There was Mrs Piggott working really hard at home and then she went to another job. Oh dear. Hurry up with the meal, Mum! The boys called every evening when they came home from their very important school. Hurry up with a meal, old girl, Mr. Piggott called every evening when he came home from his very important job. Oh dear, and where has Mrs. Piggott come from? There's Mr. Piggott having his dinner. As soon as they had eaten, Mrs. Piggott washed the dishes, washed the clothes, did the ironing, and then she cooked some more. What do you think of that, children? Is that fair? What do you think? Have a look at them now. What are they doing? Look at the cat as well at the dog. One evening when the boys got home from school, there was no one to greet them. Where's mum? demanded Mr. Piggott when he got home from work. She was nowhere to be found. On the mantelpiece was an envelope. Mr. Piggott opened it. Inside was a piece of paper. Oh dear, there's a message on it. Can you read that? Oh dear, somebody's not very happy. You are pigs. Why did Mrs. Piggott write that, children? What do you think? Ooh, look what's happened to the family. What have they turned into? Well, what shall we do, said Mr. Piggott. They had to make their own meal. It took hours and it was horrible. Next morning, they had to make their own breakfast. It took hours and it was horrible. The next day and the next night and the day after that, Mrs. Piggott was still not there. Mr. Piggott, Simon and Patrick tried to look after themselves. They never washed the dishes. They never washed their clothes. Soon the house was like a pigsty. When is mum coming home? The boys squealed after another horrible meal. How should I know? Mr. Piggott grunted. They all became more and more grumpy. 
Children, look at the phone. Even the phone's turned into a pig. It's funny, isn't it? One night, there was nothing in the house for them to cook. We'll just have to root around and find some scraps, snorted Mr. Piggott. They really had become pigs, hadn't they, children? Look at them, looking for scraps. Look at the mess. What can you see? It's terrible, isn't it? And just then, Mrs. Piggott walked in. Can you see her shadow? I wonder what she's going to make of this. What do you think, children? What will she say? There she is, looking at them. Looking at the piggy family. Oh dear. And you know what they said? What do you think? Can you read that? Please come back. They snuffled. So Mrs. Piggott stayed. Mr. Piggott washed the dishes. Patrick and Simon made the beds. Mr. Piggott did the ironing. Oh, that's a lot better, isn't it, children? What have we learned from this? What did they learn? And they all helped with the cooking. They actually enjoyed it. Do you help, children? Do you help to keep the house clean? Do you pick up your toys? Do you help mum and do you help dad or do you help nan or other members of your family who are looking after you? Don't become a little piglet. Look, mum was happy. See, it will make your family happy to know that you're being helpful. And you know what mum liked to do? She mended the car. You see, mums don't have to always be doing all the housework. They can do other jobs like mending the car and other sorts of jobs. So don't expect mums to always be in the kitchen, children. Okay. Did you enjoy that? I enjoyed that because it, it, it gives a message, doesn't it? We all need to muck in. We all need to work as a team. So remember that, children. Don't leave it all to poor old mum carrying the whole family. Mum, dad, auntie, nanny, cousins, we all pull together. Brothers and sisters, we all pull together, okay? Great. See you next time. Bye.